New tonight, we are now learning that Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, spent $5 million on empty hotel rooms right here in the Valley. All of them blocked off and prepaid for temporary housing for undocumented immigrants. Yet as live in the newsroom tonight with details on a new report, from Department of Homeland Security. Hey guys, uh, these families were supposed to be at those hotels temporarily while ICE worked to process their cases. And it turns out there were not as many families needing housing as originally thought. Immigrations and Customs Enforcement contracted a company called Endeavors to open more than a thousand hotel rooms in eight hotels, three right here in Arizona, one in Yuma, two in Phoenix. So there were groups of protesters outside of these hotels and they were questioning the legality of this program. The inspector general finds I spent $17 million on hotel rooms and services that were never used. The agency spent about $5 million of that at two hotels here in the Valley. The feds also find those hotels had bad COVID policies in place. All of those hotels have been renamed from their original brand, so the Holiday Inn logo was taken down during this government contract. ICE says it will now assess the best ways to determine housing needs for migrants in the future before they decide to spend millions on a plan to house families together in hotels like this. Back to you.